Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you. With no, wait, is that right? No, that's not right. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Fick it, fick it, fick it. Hey, listen, don't mind my mirror because I was doing some detailed work on these eyes. Let me move her on out the way. Is that good? We good. I don't know which video is gonna go up first, but I just did a look using this new collection by ColourPop called California Love. <laughs> and so I did it, it looks like this. And I just kind of played around in those babies and did a look that I usually do when I want to step up my neutral look, okay? And then I popped a little inner corner situation in there, which I haven't done in like eons. But this video is going to be how to minimize or how to conceal your under eye lines or how to hide your under eye lines, whatever you want to call it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to name it yet. Before we get into the things that I do to kind of hide my under eye lines, I just want to let you guys know that you are more than welcome to join the fan bam. Okay. We would love to have you over here. So go on and like click that button that says subscribe and turn your notifications on. And now they have it where you can customize the notifications. So that's pretty cool. So do that and make sure that they're on so you don't miss a beat. Make sure that they're on so you don't miss a beat. Hey, get it? You don't miss a beat like the beat face and like a beat? You get it? Like, I just got that right now. Like, I'm, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little close up of my under eyes real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to give you some tips that I use to make them seem non-existent, like the lines under my eyes. And the other step is fillers and I'm not doing that. So this is what I do, but I'm gonna give you an up close little shot. Okay. Plaque it out. Here are my under eye lines. Okay. And, um, that's what we're working with. That's her. Okay. That's her. No sugar coating, no hiding. That's what they look like. But guess what? Don't feel bad if you have under eye lines because I'm going to show you how to work it on out. And it's, it's, we're human. So it, it happens. Okay. Sometimes it's hereditary and sometimes it's just, you know, as you get older, but I will tell you, where's my phone? Because I totally listen, I got you with the steps and everything. And so I'm going to get you right now. Here's the thing. I love doing these videos that, I mean, I love doing videos where I get new stuff and I show you new product as well, but I love showing you guys how to use what you already have or how to maximize the usage of the products that you have, right? And to make it look or to make them look their best, to make you look your best because hashtag sharing is caring. Y'all know how we get down over here, but the first things first, you want to stay hydrated. So I told you guys in my last video that I have been drinking this like they call it detox water, but I'm not drinking it for the purpose of detoxing. It just tastes better to me than just drinking regular water. And it is healthy, right? It gives it more flavor and um, it keeps me fuller. And not that this is a nutrition video, but this is why I like it. All right. So this has cucumbers and lemon in it. I usually do strawberries, but somebody ate my strawberries. Okay. That, that that's a whole nother topic. But anyway, so stay hydrated. This is like 64 ounces and I try to do a couple of these a day, but if I aim for a couple, I at least do one and a half and I try to keep it with me to make sure that I drink it. So I'm just gonna take a sip. Hold on. Hydration is key because you get it key, but hydration is key because you will see a difference in your skin. You could even see a difference in your weight. That, that That's what I'm aiming for too. But you could see a difference in your weight. And when your skin is hydrated, then it is a little more, um, it has more elasticity to it and you're not looking all super dry. You get what I mean? So first things first, if you wanna, want great skin care, get your water in, okay? So that's good for your under eyes as well. And trust, believe you me. I noticed the difference. Uh, that's why I'm telling you right now. Another thing, well, that's for people that sing. So we'll just spare that. If you want to know, comment in the comment section and I'll let you know. Okay. But the next thing that I do, which I'm making sure that I'm reading my notes so I can stay on point. The next thing that I do is I moisturize under the eye. Just like I moisturize my face, I moisturize under my eyes. And again, it just keeps it, it helps it keeps, it keeps its, <laughs> it helps it keep its elasticity. All right. It's keeping it hydrated. And so I always put an eye cream on. Now I don't have a favorite favorite at this time, but I am currently using belief moisturizing eye balm. 
and oh you can't even hardly see that but it is almost gone but that is what I use I'm not gonna do it now because I already did it I literally do it like right after I get out of the shower and I put my moisturizer on that's why you guys never see that because that's done in the bathroom like I don't bring it on here this is really not a foundation video but I figure I'll just kind of put it on real quick since I got to get the concealer on we got to get to that point so this is your skin but better primer by it cosmetics it's oil free and it has this new gripping technology which means your foundation totally grips to it and I ba -da -ba -ba -ba, loving it okay you just move that girl so I'm gonna put that on now and I'm, I'm already moisturized okay already and I use the Aveeno positively radiant moisturizer which if you guys have purchased my book from Amazon or if you've watched any of my skincare videos then you already know what I use for my skin because ain't nothing changed but the weather and listen you're gonna see little glitter flecks kind of come on my face because it was on my hand I was swatching some of them shadows girl we don't we, let's not even talk about it but it's okay it's summertime summer summer summertime summertime that's how you know it's summertime here it is okay this is makeup forever corrector in the shade 51 we're gonna zoom past this because I have done this 50,000 times on my channel okay so we're just gonna go ahead and put it under the eye, which is where I usually use it. So this is to neutralize that darkness under there, okay? But I have a video all about this corrector and I show you how I use it. I even have a video on how to mix your own. So we're gonna zoom past this too, okay? Okay, pumpkin? But I'm gonna go into this NYX, can't stop, won't stop, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna go into that foundation and I'm using the shade Sienna. And then once I do this concealer, I'm gonna show you the whole situation of how I do this powder. Um, not the powder, but I do just, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there, okay? And then once I do that, I will complete the rest of the look like offline and then I will come back and show you the final look. That's what we're gonna do. But first let's get this on. Um, this is Sienna, I do not have to mix it and you know, I kinda love her. See how them eyes just be like, ay, ay, ay. Now you can use a concealer of your choice. I'm gonna go into this Juvia's Place concealer in the shade uh, 12, cause I bought it and I'm gonna use her up. Now here we're getting into the te technique of making that under eye look real, real good. Making them lines almost non-visible, girl. So I don't put concealer right in the lines. I kind of go under them and then I blend up. I know that's a lot of concealer, huh? It's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute though because that's what I've been doing and it's been working for me to let it get a little more um, tacky. So it kind of stays where I want it to. Bam, but I don't, but I don't eat. Okay, so we're gonna kind of skip on to step four, but this is a real, real good time to use, to do this technique while the concealer hasn't been, you know, put under the eye already. I usually don't like to do it before I correct. I do a little bit, but then I end up having to touch it up. But this is another way to ensure that your lines are somewhat concealed. And I'm going to use the ColourPop palette because that is what I use for my look. I usually use um, Morphe 350 and 3502, and I use the color Rich, but we're gonna use this one. And so I go under here and I kind of bring it down. And this gives the illusion that you really don't have lines, right? Because it's kind of going low. So you conceal your lines, watch, you're gonna see. And this is in the shade um, Highway 1 that I'm using. I don't know if you guys can see the difference over here because then it kind of makes the line look like it's not even there. Ah, blending. Okay, so now we're gonna blend it out. Blend under there, which I probably will add more. I just seem to every time after I do that, when I put the concealer on, I end up adding more because I want more. Mmm, mmm. Don't you feel yourself when you kind of get like almost done? Get that highlighter right. You don't even have to contour that nose, girl. Boom. Now, this is the other step of, you know, taking care of those lines. You take your powder, which this is a technique I showed in my last video. Take your banana powder. This is the Black Radiance banana powder that you can find at your local drugstore. And I pat it in. Whoops. I put it too much on the bottom, but anyway, I take that and pat it in instead of baking. Now, now for me, baking is like a strong no because it makes it look really dry in that area. 
So now this is what I was telling you guys that I'll probably add more. And that is exactly what we're going to do because it just seems like when I do that, it kind of takes away some of the product. So I'm going to go in again and we're going to make that color under the eye a little more prominent. Cause see, when I do my concealer, I kind of put it away a little bit. Don't put a whole lot to where shadow is falling out. And then you got to like do makeup over. But you see, when you carry that into your lash line, it kind of makes your eye, your um, lines kind of like not really that visible. And how low can you go? It makes it look a little better. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, like contour, blush, and all that good stuff. And y'all make sure when you blend in, girl, blend out that highlight all the way around. Right? So there's no harsh lines because I just saw that. Now I'm going to put on the rest of the face and I'm going to come right back. But can you see how it does wonders for your under eye? Like, I mean, of course, everyone has like a line, but it doesn't make your lines as um, prevalent if that makes sense. Okay. It just makes it, it doesn't make it stand out as much. Okay. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. Now I actually tried this ColourPop lippy. This is their blotted lip, ultra blotted lip. And basically it's like a, um, like a stain and it's mattifying, but you know, um, I need a little bit more than that in my life. It's like a stain for the summer and I get, I get the whole concept of it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a gloss on top of it. This is the, um, scenic route color that I talked about in my last video, the ultra blotted lip. Cause why not? Why? I'm about to be in a round the way girl right now. You got them hoops. You got that chain wood. I'm going to pop some gloss on top of it. And then we are going to be done. Girlfriend, I just want to tell you about that. And then Ofra came out with some glossy, glossy lips too. And this is the clear one and it's called Luminous Clear. I'm not gonna put that on my lip directly. I'm not gonna put the wand on there because I do not know if this lip color is going to come off on the wand. And I think it's kind of gross when you have like clear lip gloss and it's just like all kinds of colors cause you use it on everything. That That's just me, that's just me. So I'm just gonna use my finger and put, ooh. And you guys, if you ever want to get anything from Ofra, you can use my code CKEY to save money. Look at, I think I like this combination. Come through, a. Hey. But here we go. Here is the under eye now. Baby, where are the lines? Where, where, lines where? <laughs> so anyway, there you go. I just wanted to show you guys that technique because it works for me. It just makes me, it's kind of like bye-bye under eye lines, if you feel me. Okay. And so I'm totally feeling this technique. So let me guys, let me guys know, let me, you guys, let me know if you learned anything from this video. If you already tried this technique, let me know if you tried any of these products that I'm using. Let's get like some conversations going on in the comments. All right. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Do not forget to join the fam bam too. Okay. Bye. Let me do that for myself for that color pop video. Ew. Keep you neat. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.